Hi everybody, everybody's always asked me about those sleeping or undervalued comics that we haven't uh, thought about. Let's go take a look. So today I'm going to talk about a couple comics that um, I've been thinking about. And um, I, I've done a little bit of research. And what I try to do in some of these videos is just not say go buy Marvel Comics number one. We know We know about that one or... Or a lot of the great Silver Age ones that are on the app. Those are by now. I think most people understand which you know which are the ones that are more valuable. We're trying to find uh, comics like in. It reminds me of like in the you know in the physical world where you're trying to find a comic that is relatively cheap and you can take a chance on and see some sort of you know maybe. I mean, of course, the best case scenario would be double your money. But you know, like I said in one of my other videos, you know, 30, 40, 50 percent, maybe even 15, 20 percent. Uh, so these are the ones I have for you today. Let's get right into it. Uh, I have comics and collectibles, so we'll t discuss both. Here we go. So the f we'll, we'll start with comics. So the first one is X-Men 129, which is the first appearance of Rogue. Um, as I've stated before, uh, this, she's not a huge character, but definitely um, one that uh, X-Men collectors are going to want. This is a 30,000 mint run, and uh, I think... I think once we get 30,000 people that are X-Men fans, they're going to start, obviously, if they have an X-Men one and, and I'm going to, you know, some of the other ones. But I think eventually they're going to want this one, and so that will push the price. Right now it's at $14 for a common. You know, do I recommend buying 100 of them? No. You know, do you want to take a chance and take get one of them if you don't have one or maybe another one? Sure, I think that's probably good, $14. The next one is X-Men number four, which is the first appearance of Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. If you are an MCU fan, you know that Scarlet Witch has been everywhere. She had her own show. And, of course, if you've seen the new trailer for Doctor Strange 2, which is coming out in, you know, two, three months, unless it gets delayed for other unknown reasons, uh, she seems to be playing a big part in that. You know she's going to be a big character going forward. I think that will give the book a kick. Long term, um, like I said, people are going to want to collect these X-Men books. Uh, and the book uh, in the real world is worth quite a bit of money. So X-Men 4 for $34, that's the common. Once again, I might consider taking a shot at it if you're interested. New Mutants 98, I've said that many times. First appearance of Deadpool. Deadpool, um, you know, if you just do a Google search, again and again, uh, Marvel has said they're going to come out with another um, Deadpool movie. Um, and, uh, and, you know, he's a character you can sprinkle in. Kind of an odd character, but I think is huge. Uh, and what hurts New Mutants 98 is it's a very, very large mint run. So, but I think once it gets into the right hands, um, and we're getting, you know, literally tens of thousands of users each day, I think New Mutants 98 is going to go up. It already has, um, it's around $20 right now. Could you take a shot at the common? I would. All right, the last one, which opens up the door for, uh, a number of different ones, is the Marvel's number one. And I'm not talking about Marvel Comics number one. I'm talking about the Marvel's number one, which most people have, you know, pretty close to the bottom of their tier lists and other things. I know I do too. And from a, you know, significance of, um, you know, what happens in the book, it's not necessarily a lot of first appearances. But the cover art is done by Alex Ross, who is a phenomenal artist, one of the really, really well-known and big-time artists, kind of like a Todd McFarlane-level artist in the modern day. And uh, since this is his first one on the app, as everything moves forward... Now, the negative of this one is it does have a very large print run. But Alex Ross uh, fans tend to collect all of his art. They might try to get all of the covers. You know, I think they will release more Alex Ross art but it might be a go-to for somebody that's coming into the app who knows comics and is an Alex Ross fan. You can get in a common at $12, and of course, if you look at any of the covers or in the inside of these books, they're gorgeous. And so that might be one. And that, like I said, opens up the door, and I am going to include this now on my website, vvrank.com. I need to do the work, of course, but I'm going to try to put cover artists so we could search by that. I think that's valuable, and I think that will make a difference. Uh, another one, if you've looked at, like, for example, this comic here, a lot, one of my favorite modern artists is Clayton Crane. And the, um, I think it's the rare 
of the Immortal Hulk is the 1 in 25 physical. I have that book. I bought it specifically because I like the artist. And so the, I'll repeat that again, the uh, Immortal Hulk Rare is the one that he did. So that would be technically his first uh, cover art in NFT. I think it's something to look at. I think we should, you know, it's another differentiating point. Do you buy, you spend tons of money just for that? But no, I think it's a cumulative effect. So, you know, it's a first appearance. It's, the cover artist is a first, appear, first appearance. All of these things, I think, work together and create value for, you know, a comic. So, and as things get priced out, people are going to be looking. So that's, those are the ones I have for you in the comic realm. All right, let's move quickly to the um, collectible realm. Uh, I have a couple, and, and some of them are a little bit more expensive, but I want to talk about my mentality. So the one I, ones I'm looking at is the Eternals Mighty uh, Marvel set. I do own that set. Uh, I'm looking to buy a couple other ones, you know, just a couple pieces, maybe the Icarus or something like that. Um, Eternals, that movie is now coming to Disney Plus very, very soon. New, more people will be watching it. Plus, they're, you know, very, very low entry point. Um, people speculate that these uh, mod uh, mighty marvels might be used in some sort of game or other things. It might be good to take a shot. Some of them, a lot of them are under $30. Some of them are a little bit more expensive, but um, they have been moving up. And we've seen how much Steve Rogers and some of the other ones have moved up. So maybe take a shot on those. Storm is under $100 still. You can get both the common and uncommon. I've said repeatedly, I think that's one to get. And really, we'll see the big boom on that one when they release more X-Men in collectible form. People are going to want to have the whole team and, uh, and, put, and you know, show them off. Um, now, one that's more expensive and I try not to... Well, I'll do one more. What's rel I'm kind of going up in terms of value. Catwoman is at uh, a little over 200 I remember many, many, many days in which it was way under um, 100 I do think this is a significant character. We've seen what some of the other Batman ones have done. People speculate that the vault eventually will open that she's sitting on and we'll see some goodies in there. I don't know. Maybe it'll be animated. You know, once again, all speculation. But she's a major character. And um, now she does have 11K mints, which is, you know, you think about, okay, let's take think about Joker. Joker has 7,500. So, you know, 25% more mint, 2,500. But with as many people are, that are coming into the app now, I do think that maybe... 11,000 is the new 7,500 in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, mint value. So um, Catwoman is one you might want to look at at 240, I think it is right now. I do think things are going to dip a little bit. That's just my speculation. We've been on this crazy run. So maybe you want to be patient to see if some big news or some big drop comes out and some of these start to dip. Um, that's what I'm doing. I'm not really buying some of these, but these are interesting ones. And then the last one I have for you is Wonder Woman. Uh, obviously such a significant 10,000 mints, which seems like a lot, but then you think about Todd at 7,500. Wonder Woman's at around $600, $700. I do think it'll get to 1,000. So if you can muster uh, you know, 700 gems, could you get a 30% return on that? I think you could. So Wonder Woman is another one that, uh, that I would look at. So that's what I have for you guys today. I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll talk to you all soon.